Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer review. What's up everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti and I'm checking in from the road. Today I'm up here in Vancouver, Canada at the Doug Mitchell Thunderbird Sports Center and it's time for a beer. So what I have for you today is peanut butter chocolate milk stout called Absence of Light. Now this is from Four Hands Brewing Company out of St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, let's see, there's nothing too much on the can, 7.1% alcohol. It says pairings, chocolate cake. Uh, Untapped has a little blurb. It says the perfect mashup of Coca nibs and peanut butter supported by caramel, chocolate, and roasted malts. Absence of light opens with huge aromas reminiscent of creamy peanut butter cups and transitions into a silky milk stout with rich chocolate and coffee notes, tapering to a slightly sweet finish provided by an addition of milk sugar. That sounds divine. It says paired with spicy barbecue, creme brulee, and espresso crusted steak. I don't think I've ever had an espresso crusted steak, but I'd love to try that. Now, when I went to look this up on tap, I bought this from uh, the Casual Pint when I was down in Merrillville, Tennessee. It's a great little beer store and bar. You should check it out if you're ever in the area. And when I bought this, I didn't realize I've already had this before. It's one of those beers that uh, I probably had, I think I might have had it on draft, I'm not sure, because I had it at Dark Lord Day in 2017. I don't, and so I don't know whether I had it in house out of a can, somebody just handed me a cup and it was poured on draft, but I'm not sure. But anyways, when I had it, I gave it a 3.75, which is a pretty good rating. Now, on Untapped, it gets a 4.07 with 36, almost 37,000 check-ins. So that's a really good score. And on Beer Advocate, it gets a 91 outstanding with 361 ratings which is also a pretty good score. And as you see, I busted out the uh, iconic plastic cup today. That almost looks coffee, coffee-like. I suppose I should have got my SRM chart out, but I think that's about a, you know, that's probably about a 40. I'm guessing that's a 40. Well, maybe I got it right down here. I bet you I could get that out real quick y'all bear with me. Luckily, uh, right here in my computer bag. So, we'll look at it here. You know, I'm actually going to give that a 33. How about that? That's a 33 on there because it's not super, super black. It's not super, I mean, it's, it's almost a coffee color. Now, the head, the head dissipated fairly quickly. It was a very thin head, some fisheye bubbles, and it was a dark tan, but it dissipated fairly quickly. The smell smells straight up chocolate. I mean, that's all I'm getting. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate, chocolate, bitter chocolate. That smells really good. It smells like bitter chocolate, like, like a bitter chocolate syrup almost. So, time for me to try it. That's like liquid chocolate in a glass, like maybe semi-sweet, semi-sweet chocolate. It's medium to light bodied, but it does have some like viscousness to it, some oil, like slightly oiliness, not really, but almost like you're drinking chocolate syrup. I'm not really getting too much peanut butter though. I mean, the peanut butter is kind of there, it's subtle, but I'm not getting too much of it. I mean, this is very, very chocolate forward. Uh, 
this is a good beer, and maybe it's why I only gave it a 375, because the peanut butter is just not there. I mean, it's very subtle, but it's not. The chocolate's overpowering the peanut butter. I don't get any caramel out of it. So that's probably why I gave it a 375. If this was had some more peanut butter flavor to it, I would definitely have given it a higher rating on untapped. However, this is still a good beer. And I would still give it a thumbs up. I would buy this again. I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but I would definitely buy this again. I would definitely drink this again. Uh, this is a nice chocolate beer. If you're looking for a very a nice chocolatey beer, this right here is it's like liquid chocolate. Semi-sweet chocolate. So that's definitely a good beer. I hope you think this is a good video. If you do, let me know down below in the comments. If you like my video, please hit subscribe, please hit like. And until next time, huzzah.